right, here's the close-up of our Silent Wings Pro 4 fan using it as our exhaust. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Be Quiet Silent Wings Pro 420 millimeter PWM fan. I did receive this sample directly from Be Quiet, but I want you to know that any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this fan and you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. So on the front, clearly labeled 120 millimeter PWM. So it's gonna be our four pin connector. On the back, you can learn more about the brand. This is designed in Germany. A couple of quick tech specs here on the fan. The fan speed is 3000 RPMs, noise level 36.9 decibels, four pin PWM, and its lifespan is over 300,000 hours. Dimensions 120 by 120 by 25. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature. You'll see we have some helpful instructions here walking us through how to remove and install the corner clips. You'll see we have our different fan speed options. So M is going to be 1600, HS is going to be 2500, and UHS is going to be the 3000 RPMs. Backside walks you through how to install the anti-vibration fittings, how to use the push pins and washers to install the fan. So very helpful and detailed instructions. Here are those anti-vibration fittings right here. You'll see them right in this nice package. Get them out, showcase both sides for you there. Next, you'll see four screws in our bag and our four push pins and four washers. Lastly, we have the fan itself. Looking at that up close, you'll see we have our Be Quiet logo and branding. Nice fan blade spinning there. There's the four corners that we can remove. We'll look at that in a second. Looking at it from the side, directional arrows for airflow, Be Quiet's logo and branding. Here's a peek at the back side. You'll see our toggle switch down here to adjust the speed. Again, MHS or UHS up to 3000 RPMs. Nice braided four pin cable here. You'll see that up close. Decent length to it as well. Pretty good looking fan. Durable, robust, kind of got a heavy duty vibe and feel to it. Now let's go ahead, let's talk more and look at those removable clips. So out of the box, this is how our fan arrived. So everything was already assembled, but if you want, you can follow the instructions. You basically just push in on both of these corners. I like to kind of grab it from the side here. It's actually super gentle. Like you don't really have to force much and then it comes right off. I know that might look a little tricky. For a while, it took me a good five, 10 minutes really trying to pull like, I can't get it. Then just a really simple finesse and it just clips right on. So take a look at the clips right there. Again, you just push in and then pull to remove. But that's what you're working with there on the fan. You have that for all four sides. Obviously then you can just press and it clips right back in. But again, just very gently press. And then I kind of just use, I don't know how to say it the best way, but just press in and then just very gently kind of come up here from the side and then you can press it right off. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. Just, it's all gentle. Press, both of them depressed and then just use your two thumbs and I'd say push right there, up and out of the way. So hopefully that helps you, gives you some guidance there on how you can install or remove those if you wanna use the included anti-vibration mounts. You'll notice we have two size fittings, so go ahead, pick and choose whatever one you want and then just pop it right in place. You'll notice on this fitting right here, you'll see we have an L and an S side. Reference the user guide and manual, but basically if you position it towards the L side, there's a one millimeter gap between the housing and the fan frame. If you position it towards the S side, they will fit flush with the housing. So that's up to you, S or L, which one do you want? Go ahead, pop them off, put the new ones on that you want, and they just snap right in place like so. Same step to repeat to remove. So pick and choose, what do you wanna use? First one's up by default that came with it. Do you wanna add any of the anti-vibration fittings? Then you can go ahead, pick and choose what you want, L or S side, and you're all set and ready to go. Our PC's built, we have the fan installed. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. Right here in the back side, I went ahead, I installed it as our exhaust fan. So let's look at it up close. All right, here's the close-up of our Silent Wings Pro 4 fan using it as our exhaust. 
Maybe you can see how we have the wire run up and out of the way there for it, powering our fan. Super quiet. Looks great. Pay attention to the brackets that we use. Just the default one here is perfect. I don't have any need to swap them out, at least with this particular build. It's so quiet as it is. No issues with vibration or anything like that with this case. And now you're looking at it from the back side here. You can see Silent Wings Pro 4 peeking through. We just use the four screws to mount this fan on the back. So far, so good. Now we're gonna have some fun and measure the miles per hour of this fan. They already provide the RPMs for us on the three different speed settings. So we're gonna see the miles per hour and how fast it's gonna be able to move that air through the fan using our handy dandy tool right here. So first we have it in the lowest speed setting here. That's gonna be the notch to the M setting. So let's see how fast it is. So we'll round up, we'll call it 3.8 miles per hour in the M setting. And again, that's gonna be 1600 RPMs. Now in the HS setting at 2500 RPMs, we're showing 5.8 miles per hour. And last but not least at the UHS setting, that's 3000 RPMs. We've peaked at 7.3 miles per hour. Now we're gonna see how loud the fan is at all three different speed settings using our decibel meter here. Now keep in mind, this is an unofficial test and it might actually still pick up some background noise from the other fans that we have running in this build. So we'll do the best that we can here, but this is more just for fun. So you can see how quiet this fan actually is. We currently have it in the loudest setting right here, 3000 RPMs, 7.3 miles per hour. I mean, that thing is blazing fast, moving a ton of air and it's super quiet but let's see how loud it actually is. So we peaked at 54.3 decibels at the max fan speed setting. Realistically though, you'll be in the high 40s consistently. In the HS fan speed setting, that's gonna be our middle speed. We peaked at 48.3 decibels. Consistently though, you'll be in the low 40s. And for our last fan speed setting, the M setting, that's gonna be our slowest speed with the lowest RPM. We peaked at 39.5 decibels and you'll be in that mid 35 decibel range. So now let me share with you my final thoughts after using and installing the Silent Wings Pro 4 fan. There's really not much to say here because it's a computer fan after all, but it's very, very quiet and powerful. And we have customization options with three different speed settings and different brackets, depending on if you need any sort of anti-vibration support. This most likely will be the fan for you if you're sensitive to fan noise, vibration, all that good stuff look no further, you've landed on the fan for you. Now, with that being said, there are a couple things I'd like to see improved in the future. I still find it difficult to remove the corners if you wanna swap the bracket. I guess the good news is you're probably not doing that very often, so you can get by using this design and removing it. It's just not as easy or intuitive as you would think it would be. That could still be user error on me. And lastly, the controls on the backside, this slider button, I wish it was a little bit clearer to know which mode you were in. I know you can read the labels there, but they could do a little bit of improvement on that back switch to make it a little bit easier knowing exactly which setting the fan is in and to help us easily toggle that. You really kind of need your fingernail and to gently press it to shift it between the settings, but you don't want to shift it too far. But if you're looking for a powerful, quiet fan with customization options, look no further.